<laughs> Good morning, True Crime friends. How y'all doing? Wait, I just recorded a whole members only video and my dogs didn't bark. So I'm sincerely hoping they won't bark while I do this. Look, yesterday, Shayna Gardner was going to court. Or so I was led to believe. Turns out I was wrong because I was like, oh, 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 I know what I'm going to do on Thursday, the 15th. See, Thursday, February 15th. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um, I was like, Shayna Gardner is going to go to court. That's the lady who um helped and participated in the unfortunate unaliving of her ex-husband. And I was like, I'm going to talk about her court appearance. And then I looked up this morning and she didn't go to court yesterday. And, mm -mm, she, she was not there. And I was like, dang ya. I don't have anything to talk about. Oh my gosh, what am I going to talk about? And then, and then I saw it. I saw it. It just rose up and became, it, it just was available to me. It was like, it was magical. Y'all, this podcast, now listen, there are certain, there are certain YouTube channels that I watch just for my own pleasure, not to report on. And so I bounce around and I look at a lot of channels. That's how I make my YouTube friends. And that's how I find out who I like. So anybody who's covering the crime sector, I'm like, oh, well, let me just lean in. Maybe I will learn some new information or whatever. And credit where credit is due. I will absolutely credit them or whatever. So, um, there's this one blogger, infamous Sylvia. And I'm like, I watched her a couple of times and I was like, you know what? She's really not for me. Now, for the uninformed, I am a very dedicated and devout heathen. Yeah, heathen. Long time. Long time heathen. Haven't been to church in 30 years. I was raised in a very, very, very religious evangelical family. And so I get what all of that is about. And um, as an adult, I decided... No, thank you. And so you can have your faith and I will have my faith or lack thereof. And it's fine. And we can all live happily ever after. I don't judge you. I hope you don't judge me. And then let's just all get together. And then I ran across this channel and this lady would open her live streams with a prayer. Not for me, but okay. Um, And then she would gossip and talk about pokes. And I was like, wait, the Lord sent you to gossip unto us? I don't, I don't know that that's a, I read the Bible, and not for a long time, but I, I have one. It's right up there on the shelf somewhere. I don't, I don't recall the book, chapter, and verse where you're supposed to gossip unto other people. But okay, fine. You, maybe that's your gossip ministry. Fine, fine, fine. And then I noticed some of her actions. So I was like, oh, this channel is not really for me. It's, not, it's for somebody. And people were like, amen, girl, hallelujah. You doing the Lord's work, whatever. And she had like 20,000 followers. And so initially I had subscribed and I would drop in on this case and that case. And then I was, because we were, you know, she was covering some of the cases I was looking at. And then I was like, I just don't really like her. She just, mm -mm, a lot of things about her just didn't add up for me. So she got a rule 22 down there in Fulton County, Georgia. Now a rule 22 lets you go into the court and set up your little camera or whatever. In my mind, she's just sitting up there with an iPhone, but y'all don't know. But you can sit up with the camera and you can record everything that's happening over in the courthouse. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. That's so cool that a regular person, just like me and you, she doesn't have any special media training, can go and get a rule 22 signed by the judge and set up all your equipment and you can record all the different trials. And I was like, oh, that's fascinating. Yesterday, she goes to court and she's getting everything set up. And she's like, hey, Court TV, how y'all doing? How you doing? Lord Crumb, how you doing? Girl, coffee, I'll, I'll see you at coffee. We'll be in the media room because now me and you are media, even though I'm just a regular person off the street and you have actual credentials and a job and probably some health benefits and stuff like that, but I'm not jealous at all. Okay, fine. So this is her, right? She's part of the media. She goes and she gets herself set up, says good morning to all her fellow media colleagues. And then the popo shows up and arrests her. What? She got arrested on her own live stream. Oh my God, this is the greatest thing in YouTube history. Now listen, let us not get it confused. I don't think it's great that she got arrested. I think it was great that it's live streamed. Does that make me a terrible person? I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy that she got arrested, but it's kind of wild that like she went from being the, the broadcaster to becoming the story. And I was like, wait, maybe it's false charges. Maybe she was trying to help some like downtrodden person and it all went to the left. And so, you know, I had to go mind her business. I didn't want to do it because you know me. I sit here quietly with my little cup of coffee and I just monitor, well, other people's business. But um, she was a private citizen. Oh, all of these people are private citizens. 
don't mind me. Anyway, so I was like, well, obviously I have to do a deep dive and find out every single thing. <laughs> Come to find out that the nice religious lady, some of her behavior was not that religious. So she started out by following um, Ara Kelly, that is Robert Kelly over there in Chicago, who was, uh, there was like a couple of documentaries about him, how he was trafficking women and doing terrible things to women. Okay, cool. She And I was like, oh, so she's fighting for the women. Right, I get it, I get it. No, she was fighting for R. Kelly. Okay, that is a fascinating choice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. While she was fighting for R. Kelly, she made friends with a dude named Dana. And I'm like, I don't know how she knows Dana. Dana was covering stories out in these YouTube streets. Sylvia was covering story out, stories out in the, to these YouTube streets. And they got to be friends. Oh, that's so nice. I'm like, oh, that's like me and Brandy Churchwell. Okay, that's like me and R.A. All right, cool. She has like internet friends. Oh, I love that. That's so great. And then they started having financial dealings. And then they had a falling out, something about a car. I don't, Sylvia, so d the dude Dana, a car. And Dana paid the money, but Sylvia didn't give him the title. I don't know. And so she was saying he stole the car and he was saying to try to pay for the car. I don't know what happened with this car. So they were back and forth about this car. And she's like, I'm going to serve him papers. Now, five or six years have gone by of them fighting back and forth over this car and other things. And now they have six lawsuits against each other. Can you imagine me suing Brandy Churchwell? I'd be like, all right, I'm swearing out a warrant for your... What? Mm -mm, that, that's not what friendship looks like. I don't know if you're clear. That's not how friendship works. So I'm just like, okay. So they're back and forth and back and forth in the court system. Meanwhile, we find out that Sylvia, yes, she's over on her channel praying for people. In addition... She's also cuddling up with other Pedialytes. So um, there's another dude down here in the county jail who is accused of doing some nasty diddling things with children. And she's like, I'm going to go to the jail and pray for him. I put it on my YouTube channel. Hmm? Why don't you pray for them kids? I can't tell you how to conduct your prayer, child. It's none of my business. That's not going to stop me from minding your business. But okay, it's, it's still none of my business. So I'm like, hmm. Okay. One dude was having an affair on his wife. And so I was like, oh, she's going to pray for the wife who was her sister in Christ. No, she's with the mistress. Okay. I don't, hmm. Um, maybe she got the new Bible. You know, I heard that some new versions of the Bible that came out since I, I used to be a church goer. So I don't, I don't know. Like the people who I know who are religious, whatever it is, whatever their like thing happens to be, they tend to take it seriously and they try and live by that. Not perfectly, obviously, but they try and like do their best. I think that's what most people try to do. In this particular case, ma'am, Miss Sylvia, your track record is not looking that good. You sided with, with, the perpetrator, R. Kelly, who's now in prison, I believe, for the rest of his life. Um, you sided with this other Pedialyte down here in Fulton County Jail. And now you cuddling up and you BFF with the man's mistress. While the mistress says, I'm an atheist. And the, not that there's anything wrong with that. The wife says, I'm a Christian. And you a Christian. So you cuddling up with the mistress. And then I think she lost some people on her channel when she took brought the mistress onto her channel and said, I believe that the Lord has sent you to minister to this Pedialyte over in jail. Wait, wait. I could be totally off base, totally off base. But from what I recall from Sunday school, the Lord would send you peace and guidance little cash sometimes if you need it. People pray for partners. People pray for all kinds of things. I don't think the Lord is handing out mistresses. Now, again, that might be like the new version. You know how like they get new math every couple of years in school. I'm like, is that new religion? What faith they do that at? Because I don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, I, I don't want to be part of that. You're like, dear whoever I pray to, please send me a mistress and make her, I don't know, tall, short, fat, skinny, whatever you like. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's how that works. So, um, she was arrested and, and she's still in jail. Now listen, I have zero intention of being arrested ever in my entire life. When I drive past 
to jail, I swerve and get into the lane this furthest away from the jail. There's a jail over here in, where is it? I think it's in Hackensack, New Jersey. And it's not a wide road. Where I can, I go the long way around because I don't even want to drive past the jail. No, thank you. Because I feel like they be in there. Like if I'm on my phone, I feel like they're going to steal my identity or something. Nope, 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 nope. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. She's actually at the jail, the Fulton County Jail, which is notorious for having like, People get beat up. Somebody died from being uh, bit to death by bed bugs. What? Do they? I just, oh my goodness. I, I, I'm just trying to imagine myself, right? You sit there in court. You're doing your live stream. Next thing you know, click, click. You're going off to jail. And then they put you in unsanitary conditions. I would be like, oh, do I have to sit here? Because... This does not look clean. And I'm not a germaphobe, but I'm not trying to sit in the... It just does not seem that sanitary to me. And then I had questions about jail. Like, you, you obviously, you're not going to get the good sheets. This little nightgown I'm wearing is modal cotton. It's so soft. Something tells me they don't have modal down there in jail. Can you still do your nighttime beauty routine? How are you going to tighten your neck skin, right? How are you going to... What do you... Do, are there things you can use? I don't understand. What about a nice under eye cream? Can you take the cucumbers from your dinner and just put them on your eyes when you go to sleep to keep puffiness down? Because you know I would have been crying all night. Oh yeah, I would have been crying all night. I was going to need some cucumbers for my puffiness. Do they have contact lens solution? Can you take your lenses out? Can somebody bring me my glasses? What about my retainer? I can't be here in the prison with my teeth all shifted and crooked or whatever. It's plastic. I can't make a shift out of a retainer. But if you were in prison long enough, maybe you could, child. I have questions. Oh, it stressed me out so bad. Yes, I feel like this woman is maybe not as religious as, as she pretends to be, but I'm just trying to imagine myself. What if you get a hot flash? Do they have personal fans? Something tells me if they let you get eaten, literally eaten to death by bed bugs, that they're not going to cater to my, my soft cotton and hot, fla hot flash reduction needs. I don't, mm -mm, I'm not going to go to jail. So, Based on what I saw yesterday on this internet, on Beyonce's internet, um, I, I, I'm going to be nice to people. Now, it's not that I was ever mean to people, but I'm going to be extra nice. Recovery addict, are you there, Scott, with your silky dulcet tones and your lovely voice? Good morning, Mrs. Recovery Addict. I promise not to do anything that would cause you to send me to jail. Brandy Churchwell? Are you up, girl? How you feeling this morning? I just want you to know, also, I promise not to do anything that would cause us to have a beef internet, real life. Otherwise, please do not issue a warrant for my arrest. Now, do I talk too much? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do I talk about things that are none of my business? All the time. None of this is any of my business. This entire channel is me talking about things that are none of my business. But... Based on a gift that I received this year for Christmas, I have become a more caring person. Here it is. Got a whole jar of them. A whole jar of, I, I can't say that word, but a whole jar of care. This is a lovely gift sent to me by my, my true crime BFF, Renee. Um, and so now I have a whole jar of care, even if care starts with the letter F. So um, I got plenty. If you need some, if you run it short, I got a lot of them, a whole lot. Um, I just, mm -mm. now that now that I have all this care in my life, I'm going to take care to care for others. So um, y'all, when they out, they out. I'm just letting you know right now. It, it's pretty full right now. I just got this at Christmas time. Listen, by April, we may be only half full. I, I don't know. Um, when they gone, they gone. I can't help you. But um, for now, I promise not to do anything to send you to jail, my fellow podcasters, also other human beings out here in these YouTube streets. And please, I hope you'll promise not to do anything to send me to jail because I cannot take it because retainers and hot flashes and neck creams, I cannot be out here without proper, you know, my beauty does not happen by itself. I have to work at it. So listen, I want everybody to go out into the world today and be kind and loving to one another. And maybe very soon we can get back to minding other people's business and not other YouTubers. Shayna Gardner, when are you taking your tattooed murderous behind to court? That's what we need to do. We all need to focus on minding the business of people who we don't know at all. 
the way the Lord intended. The way Beyonce intended, because I don't think the Lord got nothing to do with that, child. That's just a human mess. Okay, so look, I'm going to go. You see my loom? I'm going to go over there and finish weaving today. Hopefully, I can finish up that cloth before the weekend, and then I'll show you what I'm going to make with it. Um, I've been doing spinning videos, and somebody was like, we need to see a tour of the spinning wheel. So I made a whole crafty time playlist. If you want to know about the crafts that I work on or that I'm currently working on, look at the crafting, crafting, craft time. I don't know what I called it, child. I named it all the way yesterday. That was a long time ago. Look at the craft time playlist, and you can find all of that out. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm getting really good about remembering to say it. Also, the other mandate, have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.